I'm actually not in Texas. Trust me, I'm as shocked as you are. Uh, I was supposed to get on a plane yesterday morning at 6 a.m., fly to Texas and hunt whitetails and pigs for a few days. The night before, I got a phone call from my buddy TJ, who I was going down there to hunt with. He let me know that he had had a work emergency come up and that because of that work emergency, he wasn't gonna be able to make the trip happen. Well, that sucks, but it happens, no big deal. TJ is a stud, like I know he wouldn't cancel it unless he really needed to. Here's the crazy thing though. Well, I don't know if it's that crazy. To me, it's kind of crazy. All my kids woke up puking and uh, I had a stomach ache. My wife felt lousy and I'm like, geez, good thing I didn't go. And then uh, TJ called me and said he woke up a strep throat. So. Uh, I guess between everybody, it's a good thing that we didn't go. So now I've kind of been scrambling around trying to find something to do, something to make a video about. And I decided that I'm gonna just get ready and go on this Utah general rifle hunt. I was gonna miss the first few days of the elk hunt here in Utah, just because I was gonna be in Texas hunting. But now, I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna go take my rifle, my 300 short mag, make sure it's still dialed in, take a few shots with it up here at the shooting range. And if it's all good to go, I'm gonna go out uh, in a couple days and uh, go chase some elk on the any bull unit. I haven't decided where I'm gonna go. Might go to unit up north. I haven't decided quite yet. But anyway, let's go shoot the gun, see how she's doing, see what it looks like, and uh, we'll follow up from there. So I just got home from shooting the gun. Um, as you guys saw, I was struggling a little bit there until I realized that I had misranged the plate. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't hit it. I had misranged it. I was ranging the hill behind it when I dialed for the correct range. I started shooting really, really well. That last shot you guys saw me hit was at um, five, 595. Um, and I just dead X'd it. So feeling really confident in the gun. However, I do have to change up the bullets I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna shoot it one more time tomorrow. My plan for the trip is this. I'm gonna head up early to Salt Lake. I'm gonna pick up some ammo. I'm gonna go shoot with Eric Chester. You guys know Eric? And then uh, we're gonna jump in with my friends at Canvas Cutter, and we're gonna run out to an elk spot, be there for the evening before, be hunting when it gets light. So this just turned into an elk hunt. Uh, shooting range. What? That's my friend Eric. What? What? Huh? Yeah. Look at Dang, that. Dang, dude, double safe. Those and the walkers. Yeah, because somebody's shooting a uh, bazooka. Something like that. Anyway, we're going to go shoot the rifles again, and then tonight we'll be elk hunting. Good morning, Utah, over the counter elk with canvas cutter. Let's go. safety monster. You're actually required to carry this by law in Utah during all rifle hunts. So. Well, we went for a little loop this morning, went down the ridge. Um, we saw one, two, three, four, five, six, about nine uh, people and zero elk. Had a good conversation with some fellers from down south and one guy who does not like his job. Uh, and uh, yeah, now we're back here at the truck, debating. It seems like the elk haven't pushed off into this low country yet with the lack of weather. It is fairly cold, but there's not any moisture. Moisture. 
there's not any precipitation, any snow up high. So they're probably still just up there. So we're gonna game plan, get something figured out for the afternoon, um, probably grab um, a nap and uh, be back at it. Keep hammering. Well guys, it's the evening now. We found a little piece of public. We're gonna go check it out. It's really pretty. There's already some good outside better than we've seen anywhere today. So. We're gonna work our way around the boundary. Up to a meadow. Don't know what else to say. Good morning, my people. I didn't talk to you hardly at all yesterday because uh, nothing too exciting happened. In the evening, we went into that spot. There was some decent sign as well as some shooting below us, but we did never get on eye, get eyes on an animal. Um, so yesterday afternoon, I got a text from my little brother Rocky that said elk down, and he's hunting a different general unit um, a few hours south of where we are. And he killed a bull, and I'm like, oh cool, nice work. And I couldn't get a hold of him the whole day. He was in limited service, I was in bad service, so didn't talk to him, and then got out of the bad service, got a hold of him, talked to him, and found out he needs some help getting some meat out. So I came to town last night, stayed in a ritzy hotel, I'm telling you, a joint. Top notch. You know, one of those nice ones where uh, there's already hair in the drain? Anyway, stayed there, slept for a few hours, and now I'm up and I'm headed to go help him pack out the rest of his bowl. I think we have some boned out meat to pack out and uh, we're gonna go get that done. So a couple hour driving, a couple hour hiking up into a big ugly canyon, but he said there's more elk in there. So if I see a big bull, game over. So I'm having a bit of a dilemma. My little brother got his bull out into the butcher. There's a little bit of meat still below me. I started to work my way down to it and there's coyotes all over it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm sitting here thinking about it and two cows and a spike bull fed out across the canyon right here. I said I wasn't going to shoot anything in here unless it's big because the amount of work it's going to take is a lot, but man, it's hard to know you can just punch a tag. Cows bedded, other cows up, spikes just standing there, ranged him. He's at 450 yards. Just take him out right now. I hope a bigger bull will feed out with him. Maybe on this other hill or something, but I guess I'll just keep thinking about it. I don't know what to do. Bye. Gave me every chance in the world to shoot him. I decided when I first came in here that I wasn't going to shoot a bull unless it was big. That one just looks so delicious. <laughs> what do I do? This is probably. Probably, well, very well could be the last chance I get at a bull on this tag just because I'm heading uh, 
to New Mexico in a few days for that hunt. As of right now, I'm passing this bull. Unless he walks to like 200 yards and maybe I'll shoot him. Or if he goes clear up to the top of the hill where I won't have to carry him up the hill, I might shoot him up there too. The sun's going. It's gonna go behind the hill before too long here. and I think it'll get really good. I can hear cows chirping down below. Hi guys. I don't think I talked to you since last night. Um, last night I was looking at those elk. I saw a couple more spikes and a bunch of cows. Nothing that I wanted to shoot up in there is a long ways up there. So I got out of there and I drove to phone service and I was gonna go to another unit, but it kind of just didn't pan out. So I'm back here on this unit again. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I've been hiking for maybe an hour now. There's a long ways up in here. I still haven't got to the, like the steep climb yet, but I'm gonna hike into that canyon again and try to find a giant. Um, it would have to be something that would get me pretty excited to shoot it in there because I know the reality is it would take me a couple days to get it out. Um, I think we have a good chance of seeing some elk tonight. I didn't bring the big camera because I was trying to go light on gear, but I do have my phone cam adapter, so I should be able to film some elk if we see them and hopefully put this guy to work. Oh yeah. 300 short mag. Look at these wasps. I hate freaking wearing orange because the wasps think we're best friends. I had one land right on my hand earlier. It scared the daylights out of me. Stone glaciers loaded up. Tripod and some snacks and head it in. Well, I'm in here. I'm cold. Got sweated up. Man, I went up the wrong ridge coming in here. It's a good thing I pulled out my map and looked at it because I was a full wrong ridge to the west climbing up the back. I thought I was going up the back of the ridge I needed to go up, but I was going up the back of just this ledge that would have done me no good. I would have got to the top and had to climb right back down and come over to this. Luckily I checked my map and as soon as I looked at my map I side tailed around and I was already higher than the elevation I needed to get to. So that was good. But I got in here and started glassing and I immediately glassed up a guy down there hauling a bull out. He was not happy. <laughs> I could hear him yelling and cussing and screaming. <laughs> having a rough day. Looked like a pretty good bull though, like a nice five or six point, but hopefully it wasn't the one I heard bugling last night, but there's a good chance that it is. I think there's probably some more in here though. Got one cow down below me and about ten cows over here. They're, chir they're chirping and going crazy, but I haven't heard a bugle. Last night there was a couple of different bulls that bugled. I think one of them a little spike and I never saw the other one. Oh, I'm so cold. Whip. Can't see a bull there. It's not that bad of a spot. If you can kill him right there, he's three quarters of the way up the canyon. Wouldn't be bad at all. What's this one? Yeah, boy. 
Holy bull. Well, no dice tonight. Bunch of cows came out at last light. Had cows all around me, no bulls, not even the spikes showed up, which is good, because I might have been tempted tonight, and I'm glad that I am not hauling elk out of here, because I got a long way to the road. Miles. Like a three mile drop. Whatever, it'll be all right, it's all downhill. Another day in the books, we'll see how we, see what we do in the morning. Made her back to the old Tundy. Man, what a walk. So tired and hungry, I'm gonna cook me some food. Let's see what we got. You guys aren't gonna believe what we're going with. I gotta eat these because this carton is falling apart. Please don't break, please don't break. Um, you know it. You know it. No jalapenos, man. Why is life so hard? But wait, why do we have two pans set up? There's more. Is that Uncle Ben's boiling bag rice? You guys know me. I don't know, maybe you don't. Rice is one of my favorite foods in the whole world. I live and thrive on rice. So I'm gonna make some rice and a breakfast scramble. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's hard not to get the camera in the way of my headlamp. Looking good there, some better cheddars. We boiling here yet? Not quite. This is like the easiest camping, just boiling bag rice. You have to just boil it for 10 minutes in the bag, comes out, easy peasy. Got the egg's going strong in there now. If I tip this over, I'll cry like a little baby. Scrambling them all together. Done. Rice will be done in a sec. I'm not gonna wait around. All right, well, didn't see anything this morning once again, so it's time to call this quits. I really could probably hunt one more day, but I'd like to get a couple days with the family before I head to New Mexico. So I'm gonna be down there for at least a week. So I, if I go home now, I can get two days with them, which is huge for me. Love spending time with them. It just refreshes me and makes me feel so much more invigorated, ready to get out and go hike. So I do need to thank a couple people who bought apparel. Really slow this week on the apparel sales. I assume that's because everybody's out there hunting. I don't know. But I want to thank Tracy Nipper for buying a hat and a shirt. And I also want to thank, I'll never be able to get this name unless I read it. Mark Shanazarian, I believe is how you say it, for buying a shirt. So thank you, Mark. Those are the only two apparel orders that we had come in this week. But thank you guys for supporting the channel for what I'm doing. I know that I got a lot of kind of stuff out of stock on my apparel right now. <sighs> Hunting season just kills my organizational skills, you guys probably know that by now um, when I'm out hunting it's just like I go out of service for days at a time and I don't get that stuff taken care of but I need to get it handled now that I'm going home for a couple anyway thank you guys for watching the video thanks for tuning in I hope you had fun watching it I had fun making it anyway New Mexico next we'll see you guys